letters. We're surrounded by them every day, you walk past them, you look directly at them and you take an art form completely for granted. When people look at a painting or a drawing, they're often in awe about its aesthetics, while there is as much involvement and variety as there is in fine art. There are so many similarities with processes, materials and equipment used, along with colours, techniques and as well as the use of letters within illustrations. This documentary will give letters the artistic gratification they deserve and teach people to love letters. There are several different types of letters, type, lettering and calligraphy. This whole group is classed as typography, which describes the style of the text or is referred to the art of working with text. Calligraphy is the in-between. Calligraphy has good aesthetics but is faster to reproduce than lettering since how it is essentially decorative handwriting which is penmanship in comparison to lettering which is draftsmanship. Calligraphy is done with anything that can give line variation. This can be from a brush to a chisel tip marker. As long as it meets the requirement, the mediums are limitless. Lettering is decorative and typically only a few words or sentences. It will only be used in the one occasion, for example a poster, hence the decoration. The artists create only the letters that are needed and not the whole alphabet. Said letters will need to look all the same. Lettering is simply the drawing of letters and due to this it can be performed in limitless amounts of mediums and styles. Even those that can mimic other types of letters such as calligraphy or type as shown Type is letters that are already made, ranging from A to Z. These letters are also known as font and are what people are more exposed to. A font is simply one style out of a whole family of fonts, which is known as a typeface. These are normally used for reproductive purposes as you see them on platforms such as Microsoft Word and in print publications. The goal of typography is to make the text as comfortable to the eye to read as possible. Examples of all these three different types of letters are murals, signs, album artwork, advertising, packaging, alcohol labels and business cards, just to name a few. The creation of these different types of letter creation obviously comes for the suitability of purpose. Simply typography is used for the purpose of reproduction, lettering is used for the purpose of decoration, while calligraphy is a combination of both. This also applies to the aesthetics of the letters as well. These types of letters are typically used to make something more interesting. Letters are very important to several types of professionals, such as printers, typographers and graphic designers. With being artistic and creative my whole life from an early age, and now being at the stage of obsession with it, letters are a whole new world to explore, with different aesthetics, styles, processes and even science behind it. It is not only a visual art form, but is also incredibly important for design, which then relates to literally anything you see around you, from adverts on telly to the logo of your phone.